Nowadays, we type more and write less, but you still probably have a bunch of pencils laying around just waiting for some use. So let's make something useful out of them. Using two pencils to draw a straight line is easy, but drawing a perfect circle could be quite difficult. That is, unless you have a paperclip. Keep one pencil in place while rotating the second pencil back. This will complete your perfect circle. For bigger circles, simply expand the paperclip and repeat the previous steps. If you need a specific diameter, use a third pencil and connect them with rubber bands to form a triangle. You can line the pencils up along a ruler and adjust accordingly to get your perfect circle with a precise diameter. Why run for the trash can every time you need to sharpen your pencil? Once you've finished off a container of breath mints, place the pencil sharpener snugly in the opening of an empty Tic Tac container to create the perfect mess-free sharpener. Once the container's full, remove the sticker seal on the outside and then remove the top to empty the pencil shavings. The cap should fit securely on top and ready to be put back to use. If you want to prevent or eliminate moth infestations without the fumes from mothballs that are harmful to humans and pets, try this alternative. Save those pencil shavings and place them in a small cloth drawstring bag. You can add a few drops of lavender for good measure and as an additional moth repellent. Now you can free your wardrobe from moths by placing these bags of pencil shavings nearby. Stuck with some muddy boots after a weekend of hiking? Instead of struggling to clean every little tread, ease the pain with the help of a pencil. Use both the sharp end and the eraser to get all the gunk out. Sometimes it's not the resources, but resourcefulness that ultimately makes the difference. Long charging cables can be convenient, but they can also be harder to manage. Contrary to popular belief, sometimes shorter is better. Coiled cables allow you to move around freely like you would with a long cable, but without the tangled mess. To coil your own cable, grab yourself a pencil, some tape, and a hairdryer. Start on one end and give yourself several inches of slack before taping it in place to the pencil. Now wrap the cord tightly around the pencil until you reach the other end. This is also going to leave several inches of slack, and then tape it in place. It should look something like this. Set your blow dryer to high and heat up the plastic until it's warm and moldable. Roll the pencil around to ensure that the heat is applied everywhere possible. Let it cool down for several minutes before carefully removing the tape and the pencil from the middle. You should be left with a spiral cord ready for your convenience. While this video may be about pencils, did you know that a ballpoint pen can double as an ideal barrel for a rubber band shooter? It helps with both accuracy and control. Take that concept and turn it into a crossbow with four pencils. Assemble two pairs of unsharpened pencils together tightly with rubber bands on both ends. Form a cross with two sets of pencils, but position one set closer to the end of the other set to form the front of your bow. Hold them steady and wrap a few rubber bands around to secure them together. Disassemble the pen and discard all but the hollowed out casing. Place the pen housing on top and tuck under some of the rubber bands or secure it with tape. Take two rubber bands, the wider the better, and secure them together by pulling one around and through the other. Tuck both ends of the rubber bands between the ends of the other pair of pencils. Wrap an additional rubber band on each end to ensure the bands stay in place. Now just create a small ammunition pouch using tape or cardboard and tape. Once your pouch is complete, give your pencil crossbow a few tests by pulling the assembly back a few times. Now you're ready for some ammunition. Make sure you don't use anything that could hurt anybody and never aim it at people. Just load your item into the barrel, secure the crossbow, and pull back and fire at your target. You've successfully turned pencils into a crossbow. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Just like with the pencil crossbow, disassemble a ballpoint pen and discard all but the casing. Now grab an empty mechanical pencil and remove the front part of it. Cut the tip off to release the barrel inside the pencil and remove it from the casing. Take the tube from the pencil and insert it into the barrel of the pen casing. Depending on the fit, you'll want to cut off about an inch from the pencil tube. Take the end of the eraser holder and cut two slits across from one another. Now place a rubber band between the two slits as flat as possible. Stretch the rubber band to the other end of the barrel and secure it with tape about an inch from the end. Cut off the excess rubber band and discard. For more power, repeat this process with the second rubber band. To add a better grip to the handle, tape either a pen cap or the front of the mechanical pencil from earlier to the end of the eraser holder. You've successfully created a mechanical pencil shooter. All you need is some ammo. You can use BBs or anything small enough to fit in the barrel. Get yourself a target, preferably with styrofoam or cardboard as a backing, and fire away. It should go without saying here, but be responsible with this, because this little gadget can fire at 20 to 30 feet per second. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we love hearing from you, so post your own pencil tricks and surprising uses in the comments. You can also click that subscribe button for more videos like this each week. See you next time.